and I am so excited for Victober this year. It is that time of year again when we all read classics and I love it. I probably spend more time watching other people's booktube videos during Jane Austen July and Victober than any other time of the year because everybody's doing videos about classics and I love it and I would just spend hours and hours just watching everybody's opinions and thoughts and insights into classics. So here we go again, Victober 2020, it's gonna be fantastic. Victober is hosted by Katie at Books and Things and Kate Howe and Lucy the Reader. This year they have some really cool challenges for us to do and I think I'm only doing one of them. <laughs> I kind of just already had my own idea of my own goals that I wanted to get done for Victober and it doesn't really match with their challenges, oh well. This year for me, Victober is all about the Brontes, the Bronte sisters. I'm reading all Brontes in Victober. One of the challenges is to read a Victorian book that equates to your favorite modern genre. I'm not doing that. <laughs> Instead, I'm going to be reading Emma by Charlotte Bronte. Now, everybody's heard of Emma by Jane Austen, but Charlotte Bronte actually started and never finished a book called Emma. And I think the one that I have is actually, it was finished by another author, kind of in the same type of um, style. I've had it on my radar for a while and I've got it on my Kindle and now I'm finally going to read it. It doesn't equate to my favorite modern genre though. Um, I don't know what it equates to. I'm, I don't even know what it's about. The second challenge is to read a Victorian diary or collection of letters. This one, I guess you could say I'm sort of doing it. I am right in the middle of reading The Life of Charlotte Bronte. I already started reading it in September. I kind of got stuck about halfway through because I started to realize, oh man, the next part coming up is when Anne and Emily are gonna die and then Charlotte's gonna be alone with her grief and her loneliness. And then so I've kind of <laughs> slowed down my reading and then just kind of stopped because I was like, I don't wanna read this next part because I know how depressing it's going to be. So that's the thing when it's history, right? Because you already, you're already spoiled for the ending. You know what's gonna happen. Um, they're all gonna die. So I was gonna just read that in September, but ah, I'm still trying to get through it. I will get through it, it'll be great. And there are a lot of Charlotte Bronte's letters in this, and so that sort of counts for the challenge. The next challenge is to read a new to you book or short story by a favorite Victorian author. So I'm not doing that either. <laughs> Instead, I'm going to read the collection of poems by Acton Currer and Ellis Bell. So these are, of course, the pseudonyms for Charlotte and Emily and Anne Bronte. This was their first publication. They published this collection of their poems. And I think I've read one or two here and there of their poems, but I've never read the full collection. So I'm excited to dive into those. And the fourth challenge is to read a Victorian book from a previous Victober TBR that you didn't get to or one that you've been meaning to read for ages. This challenge actually fits perfectly with the group read along because I have been meaning to read Charlotte Bronte's Shirley forever. I mean, for like decades, this has been on my TBR and somehow I just never have gotten around to it. So this is the perfect time to do it because it's the group read along for Victober on the Goodreads group and it fits this challenge since I've been meaning to read it forever. The fifth challenge is to read a Victorian book while wearing something Victorian or Victorian-esque. I don't know if I have any clothing that could be considered Victorian type style or anything. I really can't think of anything. I don't know if I'll end up doing that challenge at all. <laughs> it sounds like so much fun, but I'm just mentally going through my wardrobe and thinking that I just don't have anything for that, I don't think. So once I have finished reading Shirley and Emma by Charlotte Bronte, and once I have finished reading the poems by Acton and Kerr and Ellis Bell, then I will have read everything written by the Brontes. I will have finally finished my Bronte goal to read everything of theirs. 
So that's pretty exciting. It's wonderful when you can say, I've read everything by that author. Not that the Brontes really wrote that that much, but their books are very intense and very sort of just heavy, you know? So I don't know, it's not light reading when you're reading a Bronte. <laughs> So that is my TBR for Victober. Please leave me a comment down below and let me know, are you participating in Victober? Are you going to be making any booktube videos that I just have to see? <laughs> and what are you reading for Victober? I have several videos planned that I'm going to be talking about the Brontes, my favorite books of theirs, what I love about their writing, and maybe I'll do a video um, once I've read all of their books, I can do a video ranking all of the Brontes novels. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and remember the right book in the right hands at the right time can change the world.